Hey guys, Jay here. Back again. Same day, same time, but this time we're going to be talking about a new lens that I received from a brand called Fun Leader. Fun Leader. And they sent to me the 18mm f8 pancake lens. Now, this lens is originally designed for the Leica M mount. However, they do have an adapter that can be adapted to the Fujifilm X system. So they sent me that as well. So now I have the lens attached to the Fujifilm XS10. And so we're gonna be shooting with this today. I'm gonna to give you guys an honest opinion. Disclaimer, they sent this to me free of charge, but everything that I say in this video is gonna be an honest opinion, no bias at all. And they don't get to see this video any earlier than you guys. So with that out of the way, let's talk about it. So let's first talk about the cons of this lens because I want to get the cons out of the way. That's just my style. First con of this lens obviously is that it is a fixed aperture lens. It's an f8. You can't really change the aperture at all. And that kind of limits you to certain shooting conditions. Uh, you can only shoot this lens probably during the daytime when there is a lot of available light. I don't think there's any other situation where you can use this lens. The second thing about this lens is that it is an 18mm, but that's for full frame. So if you're shooting with a full frame Leica, then yeah, 18mm isn't a great focal length for street. It's a little too wide in my opinion. However, since I have it shooting on the Fujifilm XS10, this becomes a 27mm focal length equivalent when you do the 1.5 times crop, which makes it perfect for street. And finally, the last thing about this lens is that it doesn't come with a lens cap because they're marketing this lens as a pancake lens cap. So essentially, treat this like a lens cap, have it on your camera at all times, pull it out whenever you want. You don't have to take off a lens cap, you can just get to shooting. I mean, cool, but I still would have liked for them to include a lens cap just so I can keep it stored nicely. It doesn't get damaged when it's bumping around in my bag or whatever. But with that out of the way, let's talk about the pros of this lens. So, super pro of this lens is the fact that it is so slim and so low profile. Even with the adapter on the Fujifilm XS10, it is very very slim and it lives up to the name Pancake because when you look at it from the side, it barely sticks out. And when you look at it from the other side where I hold it, you can see, you can't even see the lens when I have my hand over the grip like this. So, very, very discreet lens, perfect for taking street photography with. Now, I did mention that this lens is a manual focus lens however manual focus on this lens is actually quite intuitive because it has hard stops on both infinity and its closest focusing distance 0.45 meters and also it comes with a tab a little tab you can see there which uh, allows you to focus a lot easier and also it has a nice click at one meter just to let you know that you're at one meter and one meter points straight downwards as well so it's very easy for you to just have the camera in front of your eyes and know where you're at at all times it makes focusing very easy and i would argue that it actually focuses faster like this than a lot of other normal lenses great thing about this lens is 27 millimeters if you have your aperture at f8 pretty much everything is going to be in focus anyway so I usually just have this lens at one meter and we're gonna take some shots just like this and see the kind of results we get thing 
I do have trouble with right now is trying to get used to the 28mm or 27mm focal length. It's actually really wide. I shoot with a 35mm most of the time and just a few millimeters wider makes a huge difference and I don't know, it's going to take me a while to get used to this focal length. People about one meter away from me, it, it seems so far away right now, so I have to get even closer to get the shots that I like. So another problem that I found with this lens is that it doesn't have filter thread so you can't really thread any filters onto it and also it doesn't have anywhere to put a lens hood so you're gonna get some flaring as you'll see in this photo right here so yeah keep that in mind when you're shooting with this definitely do shoot in the shade and wherever possible unfortunately you can't attach an ND but you know f8 just shoot at a higher shutter speed So guys, that was a little short kind of demonstration with the Fun Leader 18mm f8 lens. If you're out on the market to find a cheap, affordable, like, you know, 27mm focal length equivalent on a crop sensor camera lens, then definitely consider the Fun Leader 18mm. I guess it's a it's kind of lens that you'd want to buy if you're not sure whether you want to commit to a certain focal length. This is the perfect lens to start using. I mean, granted, the image quality won't be as good as some of the more expensive options, but you know, it's a fun lens. And because it's so small and discreet and serves like as a lens cap, there really isn't any reason not to have this lens just lying around. You can just take it out, pull it out whenever you want, and just get to shooting, which is what street photography is all about. Yeah, that's my review of the Fun Leader 18mm F lens guys my name is Jay and until next time